Hi there, welcome back to Dear Cyber Suit Talk Show. I'm Susan Corey, I'm the host. Today we're going to talk about why you always attract the same weirdos. So this was a question that I had sent to me recently. And I have to say, I, I, I got a kick out of it because her sense of humor was pretty interesting and in how she's dealing with it. She knows that she's doing something wrong. She knows that there's something she's putting out that's attracting the same types toward her. But she's trying to figure out what it is that the pattern, what it is that she's doing as a pattern that keeps drawing them towards her. Well, one thing that I do hear a lot of people say is that they don't meet anybody, there's no one out there for them, or they always meet somebody that's not their type, these kind of sort of negative comments that you don't really want to bring towards you, but because you keep thinking them, they are coming towards you. So you have to change up your mindset, your thinking, so your thoughts really do become things. I know we've heard it a million times over with the law of attraction, but when you're putting something out there all the time, haven't you noticed that you do draw some of the similar things towards you that you're thinking about. And it doesn't mean that it's a positive thing. It can be a negative thing that you don't want to come towards you that keeps coming towards you. So the first thing you do is you change your thoughts. You say to yourself, I'm done. I'm done with those weirdos that keep coming towards me. I'm going to meet somebody that's much more the type of person I'm looking for because I am ready to receive that person towards me. I'm ready for a good, solid relationship. I want love in my, my life. I'm ready to receive it. I'm ready to have a great partnership. So I know that sounds all cliche and like, yeah, whatever, I, I've done that before. But sometimes our, our minds keep going back to that old pattern of where we were that wasn't working. So part of the reason that you're probably attracting these weirdo types towards you is because there's a part of you that doesn't feel you deserve to have a normal relationship, a great relationship, or reciprocated love. So you might have to sort of clear those cobwebs out too. Something that sort of got instilled in you a long time ago that where you don't really feel that you deserve a certain type of person in your life. Or maybe they, you know, Maybe they remind you of something from your past. And again, I've talked about this in many uh, videos that just because it's familiar to you doesn't make it a right familiar. Like you want something that's good for you, that's healthy for you, and that takes you into a, a better direction from maybe things that have hurt you in the past. So whenever something isn't working, you've got to step out of that and start looking back in at it in a different sort of th way of thinking. Because sometimes when you're in it so much and you don't take a break from it, you don't see it clearly. Be aware of all those sort of repetitive things that lure you back into this type of person. Just really start analyzing what's going on. Because I think once you're more educated with why it's happening, you'll see it more clearly, you'll be able to stop it before it happens and be able to attract the right people that you want towards you. So anyway, I don't know if that helps you at all. Um, it's very hard, hard to tell somebody how to change up their thinking and how to change just their whole concept of how they've been living for the last 20 years. But if you're writing about it, then you're ready to do something about it. So. I don't know, I, I, again, I hope that that gives you a little bit of clarity on to maybe what you might be doing. But in the meantime, please send your questions in if you have any more and let me know what happens with this situation. Let me know these great people you're going to be meeting in the next little while because I think you can do it. The fact that you've written me about it just shows that you want to make a change. Well, that's the first step, isn't it? Okay, anyway, thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe to my videos, like the video below here, and leave your comments. I always answer you back, and I love to hear what you have to say. Thanks for watching.